Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change eye color in Adobe After Effects. It's going to kind of look something like this when you're done. Okay, so we got new composition. I'm going to name it uh, Eye Changing Tutorial. Keep it at HD 1080. That's what I like. You can always change to something else. 30 seconds. Alright, we're good. Okay. Uh, file. We're going to import footage. Um, raw eye footage. Going to drag that in. Uh, we'll cut it after. Yeah. Give it two seconds. Split layer. Okay, so we got this. We're just going to change my eye color from that. Okay, so start off by right clicking, new, no object. You could also do it by going layer, new, no object. You need two null objects, so make two of them. Okay. Now you're going to right click, track motion. You're going to need this tracker here. If it doesn't show up, go to window and tracker's right there. So just click the check mark and it'll show up. Okay, so go to your track point and put it on the black of your eye. Okay, now take this inner square and put it around the colored part of your eye. Then take the other part of the square. Just put it around your eye, the white. Just just like that. Okay. Now go to Edit Target and switch this to Null 1. Okay. Now you're going to press Analyze Forward. What this does, it tracks the eye and it tracks every motion frame by frame. So this is going to take a second, so I'm just going to fast forward. Okay, we're done, and as you can see, you can see all the keyframes where it tracked, so it's going to follow that every frame. Okay, so now you're going to take this, move it back to the beginning, so it's back at zero, and press apply. Apply dimensions, X and Y. Okay. So now you can see it's on the eye. You can see the little corner. Okay, so we're going to have to do that again. So again, right-click on your footage track motion. Okay, move this over to this eye. Right. Same thing again. Move for the color to part of your eye. Maybe shrink that down a little bit. That's alright. Uh, white part of your eye. Out right there. Okay, it's already on null 2. If it's not, edit target and switch to null 2. It should be though. Okay, and then you're going to analyze forward. Again, I'm going to fast forward. Okay, again, you can see all the keyframes. That's where it's moving every time. Okay, it looks good so far. Alright, uh, move it back to the beginning. Hit apply. Apply dimension X and Y. Okay. Okay, they're both tracked now. Um, hit this. Oh. Okay. Now we're going to right click. New. Adjustment layer. Right click. New. Adjustment layer. Two of them. Okay. Oh. Then you're going to highlight these. Drag them under null object. So, both of them are under. Then you're going to take this squiggly line thing, which attaches it to a, another layer. You're going to take number 2, layer 2, and you're going to attach it to null 2. You're going to take layer 1, grab it, hold it, switch, to, or put it to null 1. Okay, so now they're both connected to each other. Okay, so now click on adjustment layer 1, 
hit the pen tool, zoom in on the left eye, and you're just going to click around the outside of the eye like so. Take more time than I am, I'm just for the sake of tutorial. I'm doing it really fast. Okay. Then make another one. Over around the inside black part of the eye. Make sure they connect too. Make sure it's a full circle. Alright, that looks good. Okay, now click on this and drag over and do the same thing. Again, please, for your own sake, take more time than I am here. Okay, that looks as good as it's going to be for now. <laughs> Alright, um, now, click on the drop arrow, go to masks, Put a mask one or mask two, mask two, and hit subtract. What that's doing is it's subtracting the black or the eye from the color we're going to change it to later so it looks more realistic. Okay, do the same thing to the other adjustment layer. Masks, mask two, subtract. Okay, now it's time for the fun stuff coloring. Okay, so click on Adjustment Layer 1, Effect, uh, Color Correction, Curves. Okay, what Curves does is it changes the eye color. Okay, RGB, that changes the brightness. So if I went up, it's going to get really bright. If I went down, it's going to get really dark. But we don't want either of those because my camera cut really good light. Okay, now I'm going to change it to a nice blue. So, I'm going to lower the red a little bit. Lower a little bit more. I'm going to take the green. Lower that. Makes a nice purple. But then we're going to bump up the blue. How does that look? That looks really nice. I like that. Okay. Um... Then you're going to click on Curves, you're going to go to Edit, Copy, you can't right click it, you've got to go to Edit, Copy. Then you're going to click on Adjustment Layer 2, you're going to click on the box, Edit, Paste. Then what that does is, saves you a little time, and you got the same color, and it looks beautiful. Okay, last thing, to touch it up so you don't have this very, very harsh line here. See how there's a really harsh line? You can, it just looks really bad. So what we're going to do, feathering. Um, you go to adjustment layer, 2 or 1, press F. It brings up feather. And then for mask 1, bring it up to eh, about 9, 10, around there. And now it gives it that softness and it makes it look more realistic. Might not even want to bump it up a little bit more. Yeah, give it 13. So that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, we're going to do the same thing to uh, Adjustment Layer 2. Uh, oh. F. Mask 1. Uh, 13. And that looks fantastic. And now let's watch it. And it tracks it. And that's how you do it. That's pretty much how you track eyes. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video and you found it helpful. Comment if you have any suggestions for other tutorials I should do. Thanks, guys. Okay, bye.